From time to time, the U.S. Department of Transportation crash tests foreign and domestic small cars by ramming them into barriers at 35 miles per hour to determine their passenger safety. The results are then announced to the consumers. The 1980 crash test of 12 small cars resulted in 10 failures. Toyota's Corolla and Corolla Tercel failed. So did Honda Civic and Prelude. The Datsun 310 and 200 SX were found uncrashworthy. Subaru's GLF failed, as did Mazda's 626. The German cars did no better. BW's Rabbit Convertible and Audi's 4000 both failed. This year, only two cars passed, the Chevy Chevette and Italy's Fiat Strada. The Fiat Safety Center is located at Borbasano, on the outskirts of Turin. It covers an area of some 110,000 square meters, almost a third of which consists of test tracks and crash test areas. Personnel employed in this complex, which is part of automobile product engineering, also carry out tests for other Fiat divisions and on behalf of other automobile manufacturers. There are eight tracks in all where it is possible to simulate head-on and side-on collisions, as well as rollover situations for both passenger cars and commercial vehicles. Each year, some 500 vehicles are thus destroyed and dissected by Fiat. For dynamic testing, vehicles are hooked onto bogies, sliding on guides, and towed by an underground closed-loop steel cable, which is activated by a 2,300-horsepower power unit. The five outdoor and three indoor tracks are activated through the system. Commercial vehicles are towed at speeds up to 100 kilometers per hour, while cars reach up to 140 kilometers per hour. These speeds by far exceed the 50 kilometers required by international safety requirements. Dummies are used to study human behavior. They are fitted with the sophisticated measuring equipment in accordance with the international standard ruling. This study pays particular attention to head and torso, the most vulnerable parts of the human body in accident situations. Occasionally, the public is invited to watch the tests. At the inauguration of the Orbisano Center, journalists from all over the world attended a series of simulated collisions, after which the vehicles underwent a thorough examination by experts to establish the credibility of the survival space. At Fiat, safety research plays an integral part in automotive design and engineering by using the finite element modeling method. The finite element modeling method is a highly sophisticated type of technology based on the creation of mathematical models and aided by the computer for the analysis and improvement of any structure even in the preliminary design stage. Prototypes are projected and registered on tape and then processed in the computer, thus creating a mathematical model structure that can be visualized on a special monitor. During this operation, the behavior of the structure is examined under applied stress and then subdivided into elements of simple geometric form, mostly triangles and quadrilaterals. In a car body, for example, this mosaic comprised some 1,800 of these geometrical elements. And for each one of them, it is possible to formulate a system of equations relating deformations to applied stress. Correspondence between the mathematical model, the prototype, and the pre-engineering stage is checked, corrected, and tuned up in a very short time, even in the most complicated structures, compared to the several months involved in traditional design methods. In short, structural analysis offers the choice of the most appropriate solutions and assures that the design incorporates preventive reliability right from its inception. Today, Fiat has developed this technique to a point where it enjoys a leading position in the world. It is capable of applying this technology to the simulation of head-on collisions. Not only analyzing the dynamic behavior of the body structure, but also that of the occupants. At present, experiments concentrate on the behavior of the pelvis and the thigh bone, which are among the most vulnerable areas of the human body in head-on collisions. Strains, 
measured under crashed circumstances, may reach values of 2,000 to 3,000 kilograms, the consequences of which can be fatal. This continuing research contributes new and effective passive protective concepts inside passenger compartments. Sophisticated electronic equipment monitors, processes, and memorizes relevant data. This side-on collision between two fiats of equal weight and each running at a speed of 40 kilometers measures the intrusion into the passenger compartment and the safety range of the side structure. In this head-on collision between two fiats, each running at 40 kilometers per hour, closing speed is 80 kilometers per hour. The two cars strike in a slanted position. This test measured the deformation of the frontal parts of the car, the intrusion into the passenger compartment, and the reaction of its occupants. These cars were of different weights, and in both instances, the intrusion and deformation were small, and the reaction of the dummies was favorable. Bumpers are tested to absorb low speed impact and to meet the current impact standards. In the rollover test, a Fiat is catapulted at 50 kilometers per hour. This test is performed to determine the safety of the passenger compartment as a protective shell. The passenger compartment remained practically unaltered. The protective cage reacted favorably. All tests are studied moment by moment through the micro-motion analyzer. The film is viewed frame by frame. This permits detailed analysis of structural behavior. The subsequent data is fed into a computer, which returns a graphic and mathematical study of the dynamic behavior of the automobile. The micro-motion analyzer is also used in the study of biomechanics, the physical behavior of the human form in accident situations. Cars manufactured today embody safety features that have been tested through automobile safety research. Features such as articulated steering columns, 3D locks, side protection systems, improved head restraints, safety belts, protection cages, protective bumpers, padded dashboards, and so on. Step by step in a continuing endeavor to construct safer transportation. Thank <laughs> you.